Hello everybody and welcome back to Chef Sherry's Plant-Based Kitchen. It is early December as you know and in Chicago here it's been cold and rainy all day and I was just in the mood for some comfort food today. So I got this magazine in the mail a while ago. It says the Costco Connection because we shop at Costco a lot. And lo and behold, I see this recipe for cozy comfort food, which caught my eye, of course. And it says vegan mushroom stew. And I said, I'm in, I'm sold, let's make it. So we're having this for dinner tonight. It's a new recipe, I haven't tried it before, but the ingredients look pretty simple and delicious. So we're gonna try it. So to save time, you know, I went ahead and did a few things before we came on today. So if you could come over here and take a look at this, I'll tell you what I've done. So the first thing I did, now it says to use olive oil in this recipe, but as you know, I don't use oil, you just use some water. So I put in carrots, celery, and onion, and I sauteed them for eight minutes with water until they sort of got browned a little bit, which was nice. Then I added in mushrooms, garlic, and the seasonings are thyme, oregano, and sage, which I love. It tastes like Thanksgiving to me. So they all got in here, and I'm just sauteing these. It says for about three to four minutes, and it's been that. So can you take a look and see how nice this looks already? So it's very, very simple. And I grew up on beef stew as a kid. My mother used to make it, and I've never stopped loving stew. So we're going to just um, make a vegan version that I think is going to be yummy. And I love the fact that this has some other ingredients that are very nutritious, such as red lentils. So I love lentils in a stew. So here, let's go to the next step now. So we're going to add some flour. Let me just add our little bit of flour. I use whole wheat flour. This is white whole wheat flour. And I'm going to stir this in for about a minute. And as you know, flour is your thickener. We're going to use this to thicken. And if you need vegan, excuse me, if you need gluten-free, just use a gluten-free flour. And then we're going to stir this up until it's put together nicely for about a minute. And then the next thing we're going to do, I'll get back to the magazine here and read this. We're going to deglaze with balsamic vinegar and soy sauce. So that'll be cool. I've already mixed up my balsamic vinegar and my soy sauce. Again, if you need to use, not, if you don't want to use soy sauce, um, I use Bragg's Liquid Amini, Aminos. I'm tripping on my words today, aren't I? <laughs> um, if you want to use something that's gluten-free, use tamari or soy-free. You can use that, but we're going to use this. So I'm going to put this in and we're going to deglaze the dish. Just let it cook in. It looks really pretty. Just let it go. I'm going to turn it up just a, just a tad. So let's cook this for a minute. You can keep an eye on this, Dale, if you want. Come on over here and show what it's looking like as we deglaze. Yeah. Now, you've never been the biggest stew lover, have you? No. But are you going to try this tonight? I will. You know why. Got to keep it because it's the only thing we're having for dinner. You got it. So <laughs> you want to eat. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> you want to eat. It's either this, this or starve. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we're deglazing. It looks really nice. It's getting nice and thick in there, which I love. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add our potatoes, lentils, tomato sauce, vegetable broth, and bay leaves. That's it. Boy, this is the really easy recipe. Here's my red lentils. I wash them because they do get a little dirty, so you have to wash them before you put them in. And they stick together once you do that, so I have to get them out of this bowl. Give me a second here. They're fighting with me. Get in there, lentils. Get in there. Most of them are in there. Okay, most of them got in. We got that in there. We've got potatoes. It's a pound of potatoes. I keep the skin on because there's a lot of good nutrients in the skin. These are simple white potatoes. So we put those in. And then I'm going to add in my vegetable broth. And the last thing I added in is um, the bay leaves and tomato sauce. And you can get salt-free tomato sauce when you're doing this. Um, I haven't added any salt to this recipe, but you can add a little bit after it's cooked for a while to see if it needs any salt and pepper. And it's good to do just a little bit at a time. So look how pretty this is. And all we do, I'm going to turn my heat up a little. 
And I'm going to, let's see if we have to cover it. What does it say here? It says, reduce heat simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until potatoes are fork tender. And then it says, yeah, season with salt and pepper. And you can garnish it with a little parsley if you want, but I didn't do that. So that is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this on a very low temperature because these pans, these salad master pans, that's how you cook. Everything is done on a low temperature. Let me get the one that fits that. There we go. And I'm going to turn it down super low and I'll let it cook for a while. And I'll let you know how it is. But I think it'll be delicious. Give it a try. Um, let me know what you think. And so nice to see everybody again. Have a wonderful time today. Good evening. And I'll see you next time back in my kitchen. So long for now.